This week I was working away on a new case for a client that came across my desk and I was spending a heap of time doing research into the market, um, comparing one insurance provider to the other, looking at the features and benefits to make sure that this was the perfect place for my client to have their insurance for the long term. I spent hours on this and it was when I was working on this, I thought about how there had to be a better way going forward. So I thought today I'd share with you a bit of an open call to the insurance market about what I think is gonna happen going forward and the role that as advisors, we're gonna play in this market as we move forward. Hi there, it's Craig Bigelow. I'm the head insurance expert and founder here at True Pride. I bring out videos just like this one, all around insurance, designed to make it easy for you and help you make better decisions when you're looking at personal insurance. I bring out these videos on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you're new here and you haven't done so, consider subscribing. Now again, conscious of your time, I've timestamped everything for you down below. So if you wanna jump ahead to a section, go ahead and click on the button. You'll be taken right to the section that you need. So today I'm gonna to share with you what I think that we need, the first category. Secondly, I'm gonna share with you what I think the role of advisors is gonna be going for, forward. And thirdly, what I think the role of the insurers should be and what we need from them and what we need more of from them. So one of the things I spend a bunch of time on for you when you're coming to me as a new client is comparing the policies that the market offers to make sure that we find the best one for you. And I'll look for the things that are gonna suit you over the long term, not for the thing that suits you right now. What I found when you outsource this is that the people that you outsource this to don't understand you as well as I do. So it, it's very difficult for them to come up with the most appropriate recommendations based on you, considering the fact that I know more about you than they do. Now this step takes hours and it was when I was doing it this week, I was going through policies upon policies upon policies, definitions, comparing the two different ones, going back to what I knew, ultimately to come up with the best solution that I could possibly find, that I thought about how there had to be a better way for doing this. What if as a consumer, you were confident that you knew that the, the product that you got every single time was the most appropriate for you, giving you the greatest level of chance of claim and also gonna be the most price effective for you going forward. So that brings me to my first category. What do we need as an industry? There was a PwC report that came out looking at the insurance industry this week that, that talked about the disruption that AI and machine learning was gonna provide. To be honest, there's a whole bunch of stuff that is coming from this space that I can't wait to see. And one of them is gonna be around this research piece. Could you imagine that if we had the ability to interpret the data that I knew about you into a system that then spat out a result for the most appropriate policy for you going forward, how confident that you would be that that would give you the best chance of claiming going forward. We could then factor in things like your family history, whether you're male, female, the sports or the pastimes that you did, all those sorts of different uh, external factors that have a massive impact on the ability for you to claim on your insurance policy. Interpreting that data and then spitting out the perfect result for you would make sure that you had the confidence to know that you could claim the most from your insurance policy, which let's face it, is the whole reason that we take out insurance. There's a big part of us that want to have the insurance and never want to claim on it, but we also want to know that if we have a claimable event, that we're going to get paid. So that's talking about the upfront needs for this AI and machine learning, but it would also help to factor in at claim time think that using this machine learning and AI and could speed up the time it takes from the time that you submit your claim to the time that you get paid, which would be massive. Because to be honest, this is the time that you're feeling the most pressure on your finances. So the second thing I wanna have a look at is the role of advisors in the future of this insurance market. I think that there's a lot of fear from advisors around what their role will be going forward, but I think there's always gonna be a space. Well, I hope there's always gonna be space or else I'm not gonna have a job. I take huge pride and I actually love spending time with you. So getting an understanding of what you're you're looking for, what your family history looked like, asking the right questions based on my experience to get that information that I need to then enter that into the system. So one of the main things that we need to do is advisors need to have that great understanding of you so that we can make sure that the engine that we've built gets the right outcome. Now, if you've ever considered insurance, it's not a high priority, like buying a house or those sorts of things, which are really time critical. So one of the big roles that I play, it's one that I hate, but it's nagging and pestering you to get it done. I think it's very difficult for an automated email to get the same result as a phone call, particularly when I've got the understanding about the motivation that you've got for getting the insurance done. I can really have some influence on getting you to do the things that you need to do, but you just need a little bit of a nudge. From an ongoing perspective, I believe that the role of the advisor should be to help educate along the way. So it's unrealistic to think that the needs for your insurances will never change over time. But the difficulty is providing that advice and that update at scale. 
I think that this is where the, the likes of um, email marketing, the update videos, podcasts, that sort of thing are really gonna play a massive role in educating you at the time that suits you, rather than having to have formal meetings at set fixed points along the way. The, the third key role that I think that advisors will play in the future is at claim time. I spoke about the role of AI and machine learning on the interpretation of data at claim time. I think that the role of the advisor in the future will be a support role to you at claim time to help you understand what's happening and where things are at, rather than being an interpreter of the data. Thirdly, what do I think the role of the insurers will look like in this future insurance world? I think we've started to see this a little bit with the consolidation of some of the big insurance companies. This year we've seen Cominsure being bought by AIA, we've seen Macquarie being bought by Zurich, and we've also seen OnePath being bought by Zurich. So I think we're seeing that consolidation of the market to big players that are doing insurance as their major focus. What I hope this leads to is that the insurance companies will really start to specialise on the people that they look after. So if they're really good at flexible workers or white collar workers or um, blue collar, whatever they're doing, I want them to be able to specialise in the policies that they're offering to make sure that the outcome for you is much better. This might be an altruistic view of me, but I would hope that they would come together and share their resources where they're not strong and then tell people instead of coming to them and trying to take everybody, that hey, perhaps the people down the road are gonna be better suited to helping you. This comes back to my point about the AI and the machine learning. If they were able to interpret the data that we put in and spat out the most appropriate product for you, then we wouldn't have any conflicts of advisors placing business with one company over another. They wouldn't have any reason not to justify the advice that was given because it was based on facts. The other role that I believe the insurers will play in the future is already happening in some form. Now more and more of the insurance companies are coming out with supplementary programs to help you, to help encourage you to be as healthy as you possibly can be. This is twofold because obviously the healthier you are, the less chance that you are likely to claim on the insurance policy, but they're rewarding you for that effort by giving you benefits along the way. The most successful of these programs is the AIA Vitality Program, which offers things like discounts off Qantas flights, um, half price gym memberships, all those sorts of things, which is a really good program that's getting a lot of traction. So for me, I'm really excited what the future is going to look like and how technology is going to play a massive role in making the outcomes better for you, ensuring that you're getting the best product every single time, where at the moment it relies on a human doing the actual physical research, which is not as effective, I believe. I still see there being a massive role for advisors in this future market and one that I'm really excited about because for most advisors and for me especially, I love spending time with you and that's what I'm really good at. So I can't wait to be doing more of that in this future market.